Hello everyone. My name is Yogeshri Kadam and my friend name is Nakshatra. Today we are going to present project based learning uh, presentation uh, guided by Dr. Mangal Dhen. And this project is presented by Anurag Patil, K.U. Shriwel, Nakshatra Kulkarni, Prathamesh Rane and Yogeshri Kadam. Uh, and there are some contents are included in our projects. There are five problems uh, that we have considered after discussion. First problem, battery disposal issues. Uh, in, when improperly batteries are uh, disposal leads to water pollution and uh, uh, water pollution and uh, air pollution when they dispose right in landfills uh, that uh, um, uh, that uh, chemicals are soaked by so soil and uh, polluted groundwater uh, then uh, uh, somewhere we have to stop all this so because of this we consider uh, this problem problem number second waste of electrical energy in residential and commercial area there is a lot of wastage of electrical energy in residential area in residential area like uh, uh, when we charge our mobile phones uh, and uh, our laptops uh, these are huge energy consumption in residential area when we are uh, uh, leaving switches on and electrical devices are on and also there is a huge energy consumption in commercial area in our schools uh, then hospitals, uh, marketing, mar malls, and other some commercial areas. Problem number three, energy theft. Uh, it is electricity theft is a critical practice of stealing electrical power. The punishments for crime includes fine, the electricity losses caused by the theft, which are non-technical losses. And uh, for uh, we and uh, also we now uh, prevent these uh, non-technical losses because of this uh, we uh, select uh, energy theft problem then problem number four is power quality issues power quality issues are because of uh, external event like uh, uh, lightning strikes um, and um, uh, grid uh, energy energy consumption in grid um, and uh, etc etc and uh, fifth problem is uh, renewable energy generation a renewable energy generation uh, this is uh, for this the there is a most important challenge is uh, mm, uh, for energy generation all these challenges and uh, renewable energy generation next this is a problem problem ranking by our group we give um, 22 out of 25 for renewable energy generation because uh, this uh, project is a uh, very innovative and useful and we give uh, very less uh, points for 40 out of 25 to power quality issues and next slide we will explain by Nakshatra. Hello everyone. Uh, Yogeshri already gave you a presentation on the problem ranking done by our group. And the pro problem finalized by ranking is renewable energy generation. Renewable energy generation. So what do you think renewable energy generation is? Renewable energy. It is also referred as clean energy and we get this energy from the natural sources or processes that are to be replenished. Uh, the examples of the renewable energy generation are solar energy, hydro energy, wind energy and biomass energy. One more example of the renewable energy sources is geothermal energy. So the problem statement. You know that the, we use renewable energies uh, sources and we generate electricity through them. So you might be thinking what is the problem here? We use them, we generate electricity. No problem at all. But there is a problem. 
the problem is that we still use non renewable sources like coal which is popularly used for generating electricity and uh, by using coal we promote air pollution instead of this if we just use renewable energy it will benefit us and the environment simultaneously to further explain the problem uh, we have on screen the problem scenario uh, in the first pie chart uh, it shows the sources of electricity in india uh, if we can see that coal comprises 61% of the pie chart while the renewable energy just comprises only 13% the ne next pie chart just shows that uh, the world energy consumption by fuel if this continues the oil will end by 2052 gas will end by 2060 and the coal which we extensively used for generating electricity will only last till next 48 years of time that is till 19 till 2009 so why to think from now i mean it is go uh, why there is need to think from now we can we have renewable energy sources and we are using it continuously but the but we can see that the coal will be depleted till 2090 so we have to start using renewable energy as soon as possible because prevention is better than cure and besides renewable energy also has many benefits that it's that it's it is easily available it has low maintenance cost it is also easily generated and it is supported by environment so the solutions we find found out for the problem is solar tracking then battery charger using solar solar lamp small wind generator and solar system for apartments we did a lot of discussion and we were very confused to which solution we should choose yogeshri and anurag were saying that wind generator is a good idea for solution while prathamesh and k yur were supporting the solar tracking system so and because of k yur's excellent convincing skills we finally came to a conclusion and we decided our final solution these were the individual these were the individual rankings given to the every solution uh, firstly yogeshri kadam she did the individual ranking and gave wind generator the highest score and uh, solar lamp the lowest these uh, <coughs> these rankings were done on the factors of cost time required availability of component efficiency maintenance complexity complexity modification and feasibility uh nakshatra gulgani that is me i gave highest marks to the solar systems and uh, lowest to the battery charger circuits anurag gave highest to the solar tracking system and lowest to the solar lamp prathamesh gave highest ranking to the solar tracking system while lowest to the solar lamp kyur shirule he gave the highest to the solar tracking system and lowest to the solar systems we finally gave the highest score to the solar tracking system and lowest to the wind generator and the project finalized by the writing was battery charger using solar components used for the projects were solar panel lm31c voltage regulator dc battery diode ln4007 capacitor of 0.1 microfarad short key diode that is 3 ampere 50 volt resistors of 220 ohm and 680 ohms pot of 2 kilo ohm and connecting wires the on screen we have the circuit diagram of our project we can see that there is a solar panel connected and to that the to the output of the solar panel there is diode connected and then capacitor lm317 short key diode resistors and potentiometer the solar the solar energy is uh, the solar uh, power is converted to the electricity that is dc power through the solar panel and then the output of the solar pa panel is given to the ic lm317 which is a voltage regulator it is a positive voltage regulator we use this 
to we use uh, this instead of the IC four four zero four IC seven eight one two because it uh, because by using this we can set the output voltage to our desired value. This is the components listing. We got solar panel for five fifty rupees. Then uh, DC battery for two eighty. Diode capacitor, shorty diode resistance, uh, potentiometer, and LM three one seven voltage regulator. That is all electronics components for one hundred and ten rupees. And miscellaneous cost was one sixty. The total cost of the components was one thousand one hundred rupees. Now the working. The solar panel con converts sunlight into electricity, that is DC power, and it has output voltage of 17 volt and current of 0.3 ampere. The output of solar panel is connected to the LM317 voltage regulator, and uh, the range of the L this LM317 voltage regulator is from uh, 1.25 volt to 37 volts. We have also connected the short key diode. Which plays a very important role in the solar battery charger, uh, as it uh, prevents the negative current flow to the solar panel. Advantages of this project are that it is environment friendly, as it it uses sunlight and doesn't uh, produce any type of pollution. It is environment friendly. It is also affordable and it is e easy to use. Easy to use. Output voltage can also be adjustable. Disadvantages. In some of the circuits, the current is limited to a certain limit, and uh, sometimes it also needs high voltage for the proper functioning. Applications of uh, the solar battery charger: uh, it can be used in various electronics components. It can be uh, used as a backup power supply in various places. It can be also used for lightning purposes as well. Future scope of this project is: we already discussed that the use of coal is promoting pollution. The world is also facing global warming and energy crisis. Our project can reduce this by using solar power to generate electricity. Main motto of our project is to promote use of renewable energy. Finally, the conclusion: we have already seen that non-renewable energy sources are used extensively, and we need to use renewable energy. Uh, for the benefit of environment that's why this project will help to do so self evaluation every group member learns something from each other uh, which we refer to as peer to peer learning so let's have a look on that firstly yogeshri yogeshri according to yogeshri she uh, learned from k your communication skills from nakshatra helping nature From Anurag Cooperative and Prathamesh, uh, she referred Prathamesh as good initiator. I learned from uh, each of my team member, and uh, I learned from K K Yur that is planning. He planned things very properly and accordingly, and we follow his followed his lead. From Yogeshri, positive attitude. Uh, when we went to shopping, I uh, she had a very positive attitude about the components we will get. and uh, from anurag critical thinker he has a he has also very excellent bargaining skills from prathamesh technical skills we have uh, while doing the project we all observed that prathamesh has very good technical skills anurag learned from kayur that he is trustworthy trustworthy from me uh, he referred to me that i am multitasking i'm good at multitasking and uh, he uh, said that yogeshri had good searching skills uh, he said that yogeshri googles everything and and ref uh, refers to google whenever possible anurag uh, learned from prathamish soldering now prathamish pratham prathamish says that kayu has very good leading qualities uh, while he too referred to me as good at multitasking he also has a opinion about anurag that he is good at bargaining skills and uh, he says yogeshri is calm like ms dhoni now finally kayur kayur uh, learned from yogeshri time management 
from me presentation skills from anuna anurag bargini and from prathamish soldering there is a quote from uh, albert einstein which says that everyone is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will spend its whole life believing that it is stupid so there are different from that we learn that there are uh, that each that each individual has its own strengths and weaknesses so it was very important to classify the work and distribute the work according to the strengths and weaknesses of each members so on the screen we have some strengths and weaknesses of each of our group members uh, firstly yogeshi her strength is good she that she is a good good listener and her weakness is that she is lazy uh, my uh, my strength is that good presentation and uh, my weakness is that i am not reachable at times uh, that is according to kyur when i was in pirodia he said that i was not reachable then uh, anurag anurag's strength is practic uh, practical knowledge and you know that i have already uh, made a point that he is good at bargaining that's why we all consider that his strength is practical knowledge while his weakness is stage fear maybe that's why i am presenting now <laughs> the strength of prathamish is that he is good in technical knowledge while his weakness is less communication skill and strength of kyur is good leading skills while his weakness is speaking loudly at wrong places now the work distribution uh, the work was distributed according to our strengths so uh, the presentation work, presentation and information gathering work was done by yogeshri i did the presentation and ppt designing anurag did the project shopping and uh, the project making uh, prathamesh too did the project shopping and uh, building things and uh, kyur did the project shopping and ppt and report making yeah the point to be made the total cost of the project was rupees 1100 which was equally distributed in the each group member this is the work schedule so firstly we decided the problem then we decided the solutions then ppt making then component buying project making making of ppt and presentation practice this was all done from 26 to 22 to 15 may 2022 now the project gallery this is all of us making the project This is Prathamish doing soldering. This is the video of our project. Thank you everyone